If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode number one of the Super Squad. Now we're gonna start things off. We're gonna open up some packs. We got some 24 hour, actually it might be 48 hour cards. And then we're gonna get into some gameplay. Let's take a look at these cards. Now we got Zach Ertz, who is one of the best receiving tight ends in the league. And it seems like in Mutt, when you look at the back of this card, it doesn't seem too crazy because you look at speed, you see 82. You look at run block, you see 69. And you're just not like totally blown away. But if you look at all the other stats, six foot five, 94 catching, 93 catching traffic. His short route running is 93. His medium route run is 92. He's got 91 spec catch, so he's got pretty much all like the intangibles. I've actually been one of those people that sees Zach Ertz and I'm not like that impressed with the card, but apparently he plays amazing according to pretty much everybody. And then we got Demario Davis. He's a middle linebacker. He's not the biggest player in the world. He's only six foot two. He's got 85 speed, which, you know, it's kind of in the middle. I don't know if you guys remember. I actually used this card all the time last year in Madden 18. He's got 88 Excel, 92 tackle, 92 play rec. 89 block shed, 93 hit power, and 79 zone coverage. But he's still a good player. I would actually say he's underrated. Also, I'm not sure when this video will be up, but I think Cleveland, they play the Jets tonight, right? I want to say they're going to get their first win, but who knows? We'll see what happens. We got some game changer packs in the store. It's pretty much what they release every Thursday. So those contain 10 gold or better players. And then the topper is 11 fantasy packs containing a choice of this week's rising star. Our only limited of the year actually came out of a game changer pack. It wasn't in the bundles. It actually came out of one of the singles. We got Richard Sherman. Let's see if we can get another one today. I actually really want to try Zach Ertz out. Everybody says he's so good. I don't think, have I ever really used him in Mutt before? I don't think I have, so that would be cool. I missed the days when elites were considered 85 plus. Cause I feel like, like look at this, we got two elites. But they're 80s, you know? It's kind of like, eh, it's, it's really not that exciting. And then we get 82 Chris Jones. This is the final pack of the bundle. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a Hall of Fame card. Okay. Um, yeah, that's totally, totally knew what that was. I wasn't excited about that. Uh, Lamar Miller, we're just, we're going to quick sell you for 30K right now. I am trying to be more positive this year, but let me just say EA, that first bundle was absolutely terrible. Like that was trash, man. These packs are bad. I don't know, man. I, I would tell you guys if you should open them or not. Uh, we're getting an elite here. It's 82 Shaq Thompson. Unless things like turn up a lot or we do end up getting a limited time. I'm probably gonna have to tell you guys to like not open up these packs because they're not looking that good It seems like the legend bundles on Saturday is when you're you know guaranteed like a decent amount of value These are these are not the move. Oh my gosh, man final card anything another another all gold pack This is like four packs in a row without an elite now. I'm not complaining but I'm, I'm upset for you guys because I know there's a lot of you guys out there. You don't get to open up packs that much. So let's say you do open up one of these bundles and you just get nothing. Like that's like so lame. We are at five game changer packs without an elite. That is 50 golds in a row. 52, 53, come on. Y'all can't be serious right now. This is, that's a gold too. Y'all actually owe me a limited time in one of these packs. I spent, this, what is this? We just went like eight packs in a row. We just pretty much went a whole entire bundle without getting an elite. If I don't get an 84 plus in this pack right here, I'm gonna stop opening up packs and we're just gonna play a game because this is, this is like on a whole new level of crazy. Come on, give us an elite. I wanna keep opening up packs, but, and I know all of you guys are gonna be in the comments and be like, TD, I pulled Zach Ertz 27 times. I know some of you guys probably got lucky, but for the mass of us, like just stay away. But anyways, we're gonna get into some gameplay. So let me show you guys. We got Tom Brady at quarterback. We got Eddie George at running back. We got 91 DJ powered up behind him. Our wide receivers are Randy Moss, Tim Brown, and Odell Beckham Jr. At tight end, we got Gronk. We also got Delaney Walker. I think I actually showed you guys this lineup last week. Here's our offensive line. I still need to get a center and like a left guard. Our team does need improvement. Like there's people out there that have like 93, 94 overall squads. Uh, our linebackers, we got Hightower, Keekly, Anthony Barr, and we got Lawrence Taylor. At free safety, we got Sean Taylor. We got Amos at strong safety. I tried looking up how to say his name and literally NFL announcers pronounce it different ways. So 
If there's any Bears fans that actually know the correct way, like please correct me in the comments down below. And then I am expecting a lot of these corners. We got Champ Bailey, Chris Harris Jr., and we also got limited time Richard Sherman. We definitely have some room for improvement on the lineup. So in the comments below, let me know who I should pick up. This dude's got Mutt Master Shazier, Powered Up Steve Young, and he had Jerry Rice. These guys' uniforms are looking like a Christmas tree. You guys see these with like the red, green? Oh, David Johnson to the house. What a start to the super squad. Let's go. Not nah, Tyreek Hill can't even catch us. I actually love using DJ. And I'm like, man, he's kind of our backup right now. So I just put him at kick return and it worked out pretty well. That was a crazy start. Now we got to see what the defense can do. He is, uh, is he going to run? No, he's going to play action. Here we go. We got everything locked up. Dante Hightower was there in a second. There's no way this guy's quitting. After two plays, maybe he's making a quarterback change. He didn't quit. He is back, and he didn't make a quarterback change. Steve Young is still back there. Oh, come on. We got everything locked up. No, you ain't going anywhere. Another sack. Now he is going to quit. He must have thought about it the first time, and then after that sack, he's like, yeah, I'm out of here. And here's the thing. Everybody's in my comments so like, yo, TD's trash this year at Madden 19, and it's like, or maybe it's because I'm using an 83 overall team versus like 90 overall teams. How does everybody have Muttmaster Shay's ear? That's crazy to me. Same exact formation. We know what this guy wants to do. He's going right side. Oh, come on, Amos. You got to get out there. He can pretty much do anything here. He's going to go with the run. Come on, get there, get there. Oh, Ricky Williams. Good run. He's got Austin in the backfield this play. We got to watch out for him. We got to make sure we got him locked up. There we go. There we go. We got him. He's going left side. That's Richard Sherman. Almost intercepted. Come on, boys. Third and 10. We got to get a stop here. Got to watch the middle. There we go. That's where he's going. Again, it, it doesn't matter who I'm using. Like, I just can't get a user this year. I need to become one of those people that uses the D-line. I think that's what EA is telling me to do. Or maybe I just need to get good. That might be it, to be honest. What's he running here? Okay, there we go. Got that. Oh, wow. I thought Keekly was going to jump that. Instead, he completely missed and gave him a free first down. If we're being honest, though, that actually was a pretty poor attempt. Okay, he's running, he's running the same exact thing. He's just running flood routes. We got that locked up. Got this man to another third down. Same exact play. Come on. He's going right there. Oh, he actually caught that. I thought he dropped it. We got this man to another third down. Come on. He's going with the run. We got to plug that up. He's short. That should be fourth down. Fourth and inches. He's going for it. Can we please? Did we just go off sides? Or is that on him? Yeah, that was on him. Back him up. So he's going to end up taking his three. He spent, that was a five minute drive for him. Let's see if he does the same thing. He is. He's doing the same exact thing. Just got to wait for it. Square is wide open. That's Randy Moss. Come on, baby. Use that speed in open field. That's the difference between Shazier, Super Bowl squad, and like this team right here. This team can actually block. And that just makes all the difference in the world. Let's go out. Oh, oh, geez. I forgot I was using Brady. He's slow as ever. I don't know what I was doing there. I was looking to get outside the pocket. That's not what you want to do. Okay, we got Gronk wide open underneath. That's an easy first down. He might be blitzing off both sides here. I'm going to block the left side. I'm worried about Clowney. Let's see. Let's see if we can get enough protection here. And he did bring that blitz. We should have it. We're going to try and go back in the end zone. Oh, he dropped it. That would have been nice. That would have been so huge for us. What do we got here? We got Randy Moss in one-on-one -on -one coverage. We're just going to toss it up to him back in the end zone. That was a heck of a play by his safety. Moss actually had the cornerback beat, but his safety saved him. So we're going to end up taking three. We're tying this game up. Last time, it took him five minutes to drive down the field. This time, he's got under a minute. Oh, it's a screen. It's a screen. Come on, get out there. There we go. Got to watch Tavon Austin coming out the backfield. He's going underneath. You can have that. We're actually going to call a timeout. We've seen this yet. Like, we literally saw the same exact stuff yesterday. Come on. He's got the two routes in the middle. That's where he's going. Oh, come on, Sherman. You got to be there. We know it's coming. We got that locked up. That's where he's going. That's an interception. Let's go, Anthony Barr. This man's user in the D-line. Is that the move this year? Maybe I, I actually, no, I'm never going to do that. What am I talking about? We're going to Moss. He's going to haul it in with one hand. I will say, this guy's defense has got me a little confused right now. Let's see if we can get a screen going. Oh, yeah, we got blockers in front. Come on, Odell. This has got to be a first. Oh, he fumbled. Luckily, it went out of bounds. This guy's got a good defense. I'm happy with this. We're up, and we get the ball to start the half. He's in the same exact defense. Here comes the blitz. We just got to protect. There we go. We got square wide open. If you're going to run that same blitz, we're going to tear it apart. Randy Moss, keep going. He might have switched to a cover, too. Let's see. And, okay, he's got that covered. And we just got to wait for it. We're going right there. That's Odell. That's another first down. Come on, boys. Let's get in the end zone here. Let's punch this one in there. Eddie George, we're cutting up field. He's fighting. Keep going. Let's punch this in. Come on now. 
Give us some push. Eddie George right up the middle. That's a touchdown. I'm feeling good about this team. Especially once I get my playbook down, we're going to be money. He's going underneath one more time. You can have that. He can have the easy stuff because he's got to score twice. As long as you don't give up anything too quick. Going across the middle one more time. Same exact plays last time. Oh, I thought we had it. We were that close. Come on, boys. One more stop. One more stop. Oh, no. I should have went with him. That's my bad. Yep. He's not going to hike it. We're going to the fourth. Up by 10. I don't think he's running here. Wow, he is going to run it here. Kinkley's all over that. It looks like he's fine taking his field goal. He does have Zerline, so he can't easily make this. So he's going to... Did he miss that? He missed that. The Clydesdale's on the loose. Oh, we got Gronk. And he's got space. Let's go. We're going to run this man over. There we go, dude. We're just making plays. He's going to end up quitting. What a final play. That is going to be it for the episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I got to say, the Super Squad, like, it's a completely different series from Shay's Year Super Bowl. Also, I do want to say one more thing before I sign off. There's, like, a huge franchise league with, like, a bunch of different YouTubers. I didn't actually get to draft my team, which is kind of disappointing. And I don't know how many videos you guys are going to see from me on that series. But the person I played in week number one, I'm going to put a link down below in the description. Please go check him out. He's definitely a smaller guy, but he makes good content. Seems like a good dude. So if you guys can go over there, just spam like dub in the comment section and like, you know, get the thumbs up going on that video. That means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to him. So if you guys could check that out, I would appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.